Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today I just wanted to try out a few products. Um, I got some things from Makeup Revolution that I wanted to give a go. So the first thing I have is the new Revolution, what is this, the Fast Base Stick Foundation. So I'm gonna try this out and it's just, you know, a stick. And secondly, I got a new one of the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealers. I have tried this before. I religiously use this, it's actually gone. But I got like two shades lighter, so hopefully this works out better. And then I picked up the Soph X, um, what is this, the Ultra Eyeshadows 24 Ultra Professional Eyeshadows Palette. Wow, that was a lot, but I could show you it here. The colors are pretty, and I've been loving this brand lately, so I wanted to give that a go. And then I also got the highlighter palette that she came out with, which looks like this, and this just looks super pretty. And if you know anything about me, I love my highlighters. So yeah, if you would like to see how some of this stuff works, then keep watching. Okay, so I already like moisturized my face and everything. I used a little bit of this Pacifica Rose Flower Mist stuff and the NYX Hydra Oil. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Primer. And this is one of my like favorite primers. It's between this and my Becca one, but since my Becca one is a little bit more expensive, I tend to not use it as often okay anyway so i'm going to try out the stick foundation and i'm going to use my real technique sponge because to me that seems like it would be a better option for like a stick and this actually feels really creamy so i have the shade f7 for reference i mean there's not many shades there's only like 12 or something I don't know I can't remember off the top of my head but there's not too many unfortunately okay so that's on and so far I'm actually really liking how it looks it's not super heavy like I do have like a red mark right here that you can kind of still see but it covered this mark down here for the most part um, I'm not a too full coverage of a person. I do have really dry skin, so full coverage for me does not work. But anyways, I'm going to now take this concealer, and I'm going to tell you a little bit goes a long way with this stuff, so you do not need a lot at all. I absolutely love this stuff. I found, though, it kind of goes, like, really quick. Like, it was gone fast. That's the only thing. But it is only like seven dollars i think um so it's really cheap and you can get makeup revolution online or i know you can get it at ulta because that's where i got it so yeah i just love this concealer it's supposed to be a dupe for the heart shape tape but i have never bought that honestly so I wouldn't be able to sit here and compare for you guys, but that's just like what I've read. So I'm gonna go set the rest of my face, like do my eyebrows, contour, blush, and everything. And then we're gonna get back into the highlighter palette and then we will do the eyes. Okay, so I have the rest of my like face makeup and stuff on except for my highlighter and I did my eyebrows so what we're gonna do oh my nose is just we're gonna do the eyeshadow first and then we'll go back to the highlighter at the end so I don't even know like what to do with this so I'm gonna take this morphe brush and I'm gonna take the shade pancakes which is this one right here and I'm just gonna kind of use this as a light transition shade like there's so many things I can do with this and I don't even know what I want to do I'm going to take the shade I think cup of tea the names of these are cute so it's this one right here 
and I'm going to put this on my crease as well and kind of on the outer corner a little bit. I don't know if I want to play with color or if I want to keep it pretty, uh, you know, simple. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this shade now underneath it called Peaches. Of course, I like lean toward like the reddish colors. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear the trucks because we have like a big road like right outside of our apartment. So it's always really loud, but that's okay. So I'm going to take this shade and kind of like layer it into the crease as well in the outer corner. Um, I don't know, I like to layer like a bunch of different shades to get like the right effect that I want. Cause I find it just looks nice when you've got like a bunch of colors. Obviously you don't have to use like this many colors at once, but you know, that's just what I do. I'm going to take a little bit of this like pink over here and it's called Strawberry Sweets. And I'm going to focus this like right on the outer corner and a lot lower into the crease. So it kind of like has a gradient effect, if that makes sense. And so far, I'm liking these eyeshadows. They're very soft, but like not in a bad way. And they blend beautifully. Oh, just dropped something. And they're super pigmented. Now I'm going to take this like flat brush and I think, hmm, what do I want to do? Do I want to do this one? I always do that kind of color. I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take the bottom one I pointed to which is Festive Flame and I'm going to apply this to the lid. I'm going to do it dry first just to see kind of how it comes off. Okay, so that's it dry. So what I think I'm going to do is take a little bit of the shadow and then do a little bit of a spritz of Fix Plus and try it that way. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit more punchy when you wet it and I just didn't look like this at work yesterday but you know what that's fine I gotta like stray away from these same shades and try something new okay what I think I'm going to do is take Sparks Fly, which is like this kind of gold shade. I'm gonna apply this more into the inner corner of my eye just to add some light because it is pretty like red right now, which I don't mind, but you know, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna apply it to like the first, like third of the eyelid, kind of over that shade that we just used. See, and that's just. I don't even know how well you can see that like on the camera, but it just added a little bit more life to it so it wasn't so dark everywhere. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to darken this up just a little bit by taking this shade right here, which is called Danger, so it's like a darker burgundy. And I'm just gonna throw that right in the outer corner and kind of blend it into those shimmer shades that we already got going on. And then a tiny bit into the outer crease. Oh, I got something in my eye. Okay. So a little bit in the outer crease, in the outer corner, and then I bring it down to the lower lash line. Okay, so the eyes are done for now. I'm going to do highlighter, and I don't know which one to use. I think I'm gonna, oop, wrong brush. So I think I'm gonna mix like these two together the lightest two and I'm going to apply this and there's like it looks like there's two different formulas here there's like some baked ones as well which I like baked highlighters so 
you know. I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this pink on top just to kind of add to the like theme we got going on with the eyes because they're very like pink and red tone. I know it looks crazy because I don't have any black eyeliner on or anything, but you know, I'll get there. So that's the highlighter. I don't know how well you guys could see it because of the lighting situation I am in, but it is blinding and I think it's really pretty actually. I wish you could see it. Like you can kind of see it, but I will say that I do like these. So I'm gonna take one last step. I'm gonna mix the same shades I just used and put it on my inner corner of my eye. And a little bit under the brown bone. Okay, so that is it for the shadows and the highlighter. So I'm going to go finish up my face and then when I'm done, I will come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so here is the finished look. Let me take this headband off. Though my hair looks nuts, so yeah. I am fading it right now and it's raining, so I'm not trying to style it real nice. And it's a really weird length, so I'm just like at a weird stage with my hair right now. But anyways, so I finished the rest of my makeup. I will list everything else I used down below in case you wanted to know. So yeah, this is the finished look. And my thoughts are, I love the highlighter, super pretty. I'm a big highlighter person, so these are nice. Eyeshadow palette, the colors I used, I love. Um, I will be doing more looks with it. Like I wanna use like the blue and the greens and the purples. So I will do that on my Instagram probably. So thumbs up for me. Uh, this concealer, love this concealer. I already knew I did. And for right now, I am loving this stick foundation. So we'll see how this holds up. Um, like I said, I'm going to work and I'm like helping, I'm going to another store in another state with a bunch of people from my store to help like set up a store. So it's going to be a lot of moving and it's going to be hot. So we'll see if this all holds up. I will update in, what's it called? The description box, um, how it holds up throughout the day. But yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Anything else you want me to test, let me know. I kind of want to do a full face of makeup revolution. Let me know if you want to see that. And yeah, if you are new and you haven't subscribed already, you can down below if you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.